This is the very future of our planet. Global warming and that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. The world's never gotten this warm this fast. Still a scientific theory that has not been proven. What's crazy about climate change is how many people have strong opinions about it and at the same time are fuzzy on the facts. So I say it's time to go back to understand what we know about climate change and how we know it. My name is David Schechter. I'm a veteran reporter and now I work for you. I'm taking real people out on the road to get their questions answered and you're coming along for the ride. This is Verify Road Trip. I need to sense it, I need to feel it, I need to see it. You know, if it's happening, I need to be shown this is what's happening. That's Justin. He's 38, a father of two, and a roofing contractor. Justin is politically conservative, and like most people in his social circle, he rejects the idea of climate change. Hey, hey! Hey, welcome in. How's it going? David. I'm Justin. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Together we're going to explore three questions. One, is the climate changing abnormally? No. Not from whenever I was a kid. I mean, my whole lifetime I haven't seen anything different. Two, are humans to blame? I don't think so. I don't think that they can change <laughs> what the world is doing. And three, how urgent is this? Zero to ten, I think this climate change is probably a three um, due to uh just a just it's just a pattern in time over time more and more climate change research papers agree that it's happening and people are to blame only a small fraction now disagree storms and droughts and floods those things have always been with us dr john christie is a scientist who disagrees and he is the state climatologist of alabama we're gonna go around and i guess see other scientists and stuff uh that's gonna tell me that we are wrong what what kind of questions should i ask them just ask the question, has the ice elt melted there before? And the answer is absolutely yes. When they talk about sea level rise, you could say, well, has sea level risen before? The answer is absolutely yes. The, the real weather data, and climate data indicate it's just not much of an effect at all. What are you picking up here? Well, I'm picking up that I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> And there's so many of us out there, but yet so many, I guess, experts say that it is happening. We're headed to Texas Tech for Climate Change 101. I'm David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Catherine. you. Hi, I'm Justin. Justin, nice to meet you too. That's Professor Catherine Hayhoe, an internationally recognized climatologist. During the Industrial Revolution, what's the number one thing that we did differently? We Burned coal. Exactly. The side effect is that when you burn coal and gas and oil, it produces carbon dioxide. Catherine's telling us about carbon dioxide, CO2. It's found naturally in the Earth's atmosphere. As the sun's rays bounce off the planet, CO2 retains some of that heat. The rest escapes into space. When we add more carbon to the atmosphere, that traps in more of the sun's heat. As far back as we can go in history, like I'm talking millions of years, we have no record of this much carbon going into the atmosphere this fast. Hmm. Uh, being in the classroom like that, uh, her being a professor, I mean, she was definitely very passionate. Catherine is the co-author of this report from NASA and 12 other U.S. government agencies. Climatologists looked at the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It goes up and down for hundreds of thousands of years but never above this line. Never until 1950, when the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere blows past the line. Okay, let's zoom into modern times. There's that rising carbon dioxide. Now here is global temperature. It's up 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit during the same time. Catherine says that is having major effects. So here in Texas, what we're seeing is, first of all, our heavy rainfall is getting more frequent. It's making hurricanes stronger. And then out here in West Texas, we get droughts, and it turns out that the hotter it gets, the more intense our droughts are getting too. And then of course, we're getting more extreme summer heat as well. He, he was zero to 10, it was a three on urgency. What are you zero to 10 on urgency? Um, three or four years ago, I would have been an eight. Now I think I'm a nine. Wow. If you saw what I saw, I mean, I'm kind of like the doctor. I'm actually seeing the scans and the stuff we see is worse. 
if we wait till everybody in Dallas sees what I see already, it's going to be too late. So that's why it's so important to talk about this today. I'm, I'm looking at things a little bit different now. Um, she gave me some information that I have never in my life imagined that I, you know, would, would hear, I guess. It's mind boggling. Next on Verify, science gets a little uncomfortable. I'm not super out. excited about it going into tight spaces. Box. This is like the stuff of my nightmares. That's coming up after the break. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 